Sophie Kerr was a novelist and a writer. She was the author of 23 novels, 500 short stories. She was an editor and a writer of a Broadway play that was made into a film. She's a woman who grew up on the Eastern Shore in Denton and who moved to New York to work on magazines and to work as a writer. Uh, she made her fortune in writing and she, upon her death, after having visited Washington College, uh, she received an honorary degree on the same day that Eleanor Roosevelt did. She left her fortune to the college and created uh, an endowment and a prize. The prize is to be awarded to a senior uh, who uh, shows the promise of literary merit. And it's up to the English department, uh, along with the president, who is part of the uh, Sophie Kerr Committee, to decide what literary merit is. Annually, the prize varies between sixty dollars and $70,000. It's a shocking amount of money. Um, and people are interested and fascinated by the idea of giving such a young person um, such a large prize. My name is Paige Kuby. I am a senior majoring in biology with a minor in chemistry and creative writing. My passion is medicine, so I'm looking forward to um, working as a physician later on in life, and I think my writing really kind of informs um, my ability to talk with others and communicate. Um, and I also think that my passion for and curiosity of medicine kind of informs my writing. We've had biology majors, we've had Spanish majors, we've had math majors. Journalism, anthropological um, pieces, scholarly prose, of course things like poetry, fiction, and creative nonfiction as well. You know, I think the committee is always looking for the surprising student, the student that makes the, the group go, oh, you know, why haven't we we have, why haven't we ever seen this student before? Um, so the prize winners and finalists have come from across campus. And that's, I think, one of the wonderful things about the liberal arts is that you don't have to specialize in one discipline here at Washington College to become a skilled writer and a skilled communicator. I've learned so much in these past four years about writing. You know, I think probably when I was younger, I didn't know there was like, um, you know, a form that you could use or you know, things you could actually learn about writing. I always just kind of thought it came from within, but there really is like an art to it. Um, and there's a lot to learn about it. So I think this journey has been a way for me to kind of reflect on my writing history um, and see how far I've come, but also see how, um, how, you know, more confident and comfortable I am with my writing and with myself. When Sophie gave her her gift to the college, she specified two things. One was that half would go to this prize, and it's a really splashy prize, it's so large. I don't think anyone ever imagined it would be so so large, um, the amount of this prize, so it gets a lot of attention. So the other half that goes to the English department is used to pay for speakers, is used to pay for student scholarships. There are um, three entering students every year are given Sophie Kerr scholarships. It pays for library books, it provides a, an array of opportunities for students. The, the speaking series is particularly robust. Toni Morrison came to campus. She gave a phenomenal reading and the next day she was in the literary house sitting down with about 10 students and talking about their work uh, and she spent about two hours doing that. I don't think those students will ever forget it and if I had been a student I think sitting there in that group with somebody of the stature of Toni Morrison would have Made my, made my undergraduate career. So all together, I would say that the gift, the endowment, the things that the endowment is actually able to do for students and the prize set the college apart. We have a very robust creative writing program as a result of this and uh, the opportunities we're able to provide for students set us apart. And it's part of why the college, it's not the only thing, but it's part of why the college considers itself a writing school. We, we teach writing here and it's something that we uh, value as important in the liberal arts tradition.